what's going on everybody welcome back you don't know it's your boy Kamani Brown and today we're going to be speaking about computer mice I'm not talking about the ones that run across your desk at night when you're all asleep but speaking about the mice that we use in our everyday lives now specifically this mouse this is a trackball mouse more notably the Logitech M570 now this is my go-to mouse for the past few years I cannot do without it now in this video I'm actually going to be explaining five main reasons why this mouse this style of mouse is beneficial to you and of course mention some disadvantages however before we get into that let's just do an overview now I'm sharing with you guys the Logitech M570 in particular because you know this is my go-to mouse for the past few years I love it and I can't do without it people now looking at it here it looks pretty good for the time spent with it there is wear and tear you can see the oils from my hand the logitech logo is pretty much non-existent it was right here i don't know if you guys can see any outprint of it the arrows are pretty faded off the, these forward and backward buttons here there's a ding here from when i dropped it some time ago but aside from that it's looking pretty good now let's have a rundown of the features of course here's a battery compartment put it open it uses a single AA battery and here it actually houses the dongle which is very low profile and very tiny fits right into a USB type A port doesn't matter if it's 2.0 or 3.0 works just the same and it just leaves this little black portion sticking out you guys will see how it fits in my MacBook later on it'll be the same for PC of course now what I love about this as well it also has a cubby hole here for easy storage you just stick it right back in there that's where I took it out from and there you go you pop it out stick it in a usb port and you're good to go recognizes it automatically right of course it has its on and off switch this is actually the hole to remove this trap ball here for cleaning because that's the thing i mean you have to take this out from time to time to clean it that's one of the disadvantages guys mark that from now one of this one of the disadvantages of owning a trap ball mouse is that you have to actually do some maintenance taking the trap ball and cleaning it from time to time and you guys can see a little bit of dirt here on the contact points scraped off some of my fingers just now but this is what actually does all the magic for you this is an invisible laser right here which does the same thing that your traditional wireless laser mouse does those lasers are usually down here and you put it down and you move it around and click 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 it registers the movement of the trap ball so that you actually you know do what you need to do on screen simply just pop it back in and there you go brand spanking new again of course everything else is pretty standard your left and right buttons your scroll wheel the click and a couple of extra buttons forward and backward buttons and there's even a battery indicator light right here now it also has an ergonomic feel which is good for the palm all those long hours of work and that's the thing i love about this mouse my hand never gets tired now let's get into those five features as to why this mic is my go-to and why i recommend it of course links to this are in the description below along with others that i would recommend now point number one ergonomics right this thing is shaped like my palm it melts right into my hands people as you guys can see it's pretty much molded to fit right in your hands each one of your individual fingers has a spot to rest with your thumb actually resting on a trackball itself and because of that my hand is always comfortable it's always in its natural resting position which is pretty awesome because of that i have no issues with my wrist or my shoulder so all the people who are having issues with carpal tunnel syndrome if I'm pronouncing this wrong guys please correct me in the comments you'll have no problems here there's no pressure at all on the wrist or your shoulder or your forearm all of the work is being done by your finger and if you guys know anything your fingers don't actually have muscles there's something to teach you guys who don't know your fingers are actually controlled by tendons which are actually right here right so there's no real pressure on any on your muscles or your joints or anything I've worked with this thing from sunrise to sunset and no issues whatsoever and I'm talking moving on from my regular desk work hours 
to my creative work after hours never fail me yet guys so that's point number one ergonomics that was a labored point but that's one of the main advantages of this thing point number two because of its design you don't need to be moving it all over the place like a regular traditional mouse so it saves space that's it people this thing can be used anywhere as you guys see in the video right now my hand doesn't need to move at all it could be a space the size of an inch and you can just rest it on top of that little ledge and it will still work you could use this in your car your truck bed in the streets at your lunch table at your desk anywhere people this thing is good to go it even provides less movement than even the trackpad that comes with your laptop because all you need is just a space for the trackball itself point number three these things are usually way more customizable than your traditional mouse in the sense that this is a simple standard version of the trackball mouse you have some crazy designs people some big ones some big old trackballs they're flat some have like several buttons some have some crazy twisted things like look like a glove kind of thing guys <laughs> they get crazy these designs but i guess they're for different applications and that's one of the main advantages of this style of mouse you pretty much will find anything to cater to your style and type of work and productivity right whether you're a programmer a music producer a graphic designer a video editor or overall content creator your desk job there's a style of this mouse out there. I mean, I know that with laser mice, you have a couple of different designs, but this thing is all about comfort and ergonomics. It truly solves a problem. You want something to work all day? Get one of these. And that brings me to point number four, the efficiency of using this thing. Because you're only using your thumb, you only require pretty much minimal movement to get the pointer from one side of the screen to the next of course you can adjust the sensitivity in the settings on a computer or your mac but overall this far beats you doing this to get the pointer all over the screen right just rest your hand down move your thumb from left to right up down whatever way you want to move it the pointer will get there in a fraction of a second so it tends to cut down a lot of the time to get work done and that's definitely something major for a lot of you people out there who run a business and of course your productivity for your job and so forth which brings me to point number five whether you're a lefty or a righty these mice will work it doesn't matter because yet again you're using a thumb now this one is specifically made for right-handed people clearly because of the position of the trackball but there's so many designs out there you have some that are actually in the center so it, it wouldn't matter which hand that you use yet again that ties into one of my earlier points where i spoke about the customizability of these things and now time to get into the disadvantages of this thing i mentioned one earlier where you actually have to pop this thing out from time to time to clean it so a little bit of maintenance work right there two they tend to be on the more expensive side. They're usually much more expensive than the traditional mouse. For obvious reasons, it's more a specialty kind of mouse. Has more moving parts, you know, has more customized parts and so forth. So they tend to be more expensive. And point number three, which is really and truly depends on the user. For people who game or for certain tasks that require very fast, erratic and precise movements, this may or may not be for you. Yes, so again, there's so many different designs for this thing. I'm almost certain you'll find one that's good for you. I'm going to leave a bunch of them in the description below so you guys could check them out and follow whatever links that may come from those links to see if you find others. There are a plethora of them out there, people. But that's one sort of ish minor disadvantage, if you will. And that's about it, really. I mean, aside from that, this thing is... Oh, I can't do without this thing. I love it. When I go in office and have to use a regular mouse, I feel like a fish out of water. No, people, you guys have seen this thing in action in my B-roll earlier on. But that's it, people. Thanks for tuning in. Of course, yet again, I'll leave links in the description below. And of course, you don't know, I'll appreciate a like, subscribe, and of course, 
hitting that little notification bell so you know when the next video is out see you in the next one peeps peace and take care